I suppose in some ways there must be a degree of frustration that you're not actually in Rome with Real Madrid right now. Yeah, obviously, if someone that is coming from the academy of Real Madrid, I was there with a really proud to be there and enjoying uh, every time. Then uh, it's a pity because we qualified without uh, losing any game and scoring a lot of goals and we were really pleased with the, the team and it's a pity that we are not there. So why do you think it happened, Rafa? I mean, it's, it, it seems crazy. 68% win record, joint high scorers, as you said, in the, in the group stages of the Champions League, seemingly going well. What happened? Why? It's difficult to explain, so you need to know exactly um, uh, what happened in Real Madrid in the last years. You could see Camacho, Del Bosque, uh, Pellegrini, Mourinho, Ancelotti. So it's not easy no. to be the manager there and uh, you have to, de to do everything perfect. As soon as something is wrong or they think, the chairman thinks that it's wrong, then you start having problems. I think that we were quite good, as I said before. I think that we could do really well, but uh, they were a little bit nervous and then the fans were a little bit nervous, the chairman was a little bit nervous and then they changed the manager. There's many times I've heard from, from other Real Madrid managers that have been there, there's a lot of interference from above. Is that true? My assistant, Fabio Pecchia, was saying that um, you have a permanent presence of the chairman. He's around, he's talking with players, he's talking with the press. So he's always around, it's not easy for a manager, especially when you know uh, the experience uh, coming from England, for example, that the, to see the, the chairman talking with players or the chairman talking with the press every single day. It makes life very difficult as a manager. Do you think it's possible to manage consistently well at a club like Real Madrid the way it is at the moment? When you talk about consistently, that is the key word, because um, to win the league, you have to be consistent. And then you, can, you have to fight against Barcelona. And Barcelona has a style of football, a model of football. And then Real Madrid is changing managers every year, so you have to start again. And, and that is the reason why Barcelona has won, uh, or Real Madrid has won one league title in the last seven, and Atletico Madrid has won one, and Barcelona five. Barcelona now is in six uh, cup finals in the last eight years. They have won double trophies than Real Madrid or more than double trophies in Real Madrid in the time that the chairman is there. Mm. So I think that it's because they are consistent and that is the key to win uh, so, the league title. So in many ways, the chairman stroke presidente, uh, whatever you want to call him, is, is perhaps the fundamental problem at Real Madrid. He did a great job uh, in terms of business because uh, Real Madrid needed to, to improve the business part of the of the club and then he did really well in football the problem that, uh, is Barcelona is still winning and winning so he's changing because he's trying to find solutions but still Barcelona is winning uh, or they are winning more more every year that is uh, the big problem for Real Madrid now. Is, is part of you angry? Bitter? Frustrated? What's your emotion? Yeah frustrated a little bit because I was sad I say that yeah. I was sad because someone that was uh, 20 years uh, working in Real Madrid mm. as a player and as a coach then you go there and you could see the, the players, they, again, I would say they are really, really very competitive, good professionals. So to see that you couldn't control things in the way that you would like to do it and then to improve the team as a team, so it's a little bit frustrated. Yeah. Mm.